Hi everyone, it's a ticket to Christ. We're in the Thanksgiving series. We are discussing just having a thankful heart um, before the Lord. And Luke 17 verses 12 to 19 gives an interesting account on this subject. So let's read it. It says, as and he and as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that returned to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, Go thy way, thy faith has, hath made thee whole. Amen. So what is happening here? What's standing out for you? Um, so Jesus would go from, you know, town to town, village to village, healing the sick. So he came to this specific village. And in verse 12, it's saying that these 10 men uh, who had leprosy, met him and they but they stood afar off why because leprosy was a highly contagious skin disease a disfiguring skin disease that was contagious and so much so i i um heard somewhere read somewhere i can't remember which i think i heard it that when they were going through a town they would have to yell out unclean unclean so that people knew that they were coming through because you know, it was contagious on contact. And also these people couldn't live in the town. They had to be outcasts. Many were beggars. You know, they couldn't contact their families. It was an awful life. So the scripture here doesn't say how long they had been like that. Um, but it seems like they, you know, found, they, they, they had a little colony group there of 10. And so when you think of the number 10 in the Bible, you think of a small little in essence, church, you know, at least 10 people you can make a little house church with, the Bible teaches. So um, we see a small group of lepers who, and, and they're all unclean. In the midst of it is one stranger. Jesus, when he says a stranger, he means a stranger to um, God's people, right? There, they he was the only stranger amidst the other nine who were part of God's people. So they were, you know, uh, had an understanding of what go show yourself unto the priest meant, you know, which was, it was under the law of Moses. Um, it was when, it was a command that um, under the law of Moses that, once you got healed from something like leprosy, you would have to show yourself to the priest and offer a gift as a testament, right? So that was a part of what they went, they were going on to do. But as this man saw it, the Samaritan, he um, saw him, meaning as the man saw himself healed, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and gave thanks. And so we see he was able to have a heart response and respond correctly. He responded in the way you would have expected the, everybody to respond in that situation. One minute he had leprosy, the next minute no ne leprosy. So five minutes ago, leper, outcast, five minutes later, cleansed. And so you would have expected these people to turn back all of them and react like this man, but they did not. Why? Why wouldn't they react like that? Why wouldn't they have the right response of Thanksgiving? Um, I think that they had religious hearts. They were um, not 
um, able to get past a box. This is what I'm reading into it because Jesus says there are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. So it looks like uh, the expect Jesus expected the other nine to have turned back to give glory to God. But the one that you wouldn't have expected it from because he was not of the people of God turned back. Um, and I think of it as a lot of times people get trapped in a religious box and not able to have a heart response to God. And so um, just get uh, caught into this trap of religion and lose sight of what the heart of a relationship with God, what, what that's about, a relationship with God is about. And Jesus is saying in verse 19, to this man, he says, your faith hath made thee whole. And so the, the man had faith in God. That's why he was able to respond the way he did. But the other nine were, in my view of this, you know, took a religious position toward the whole thing, you know. And um, I just think that having a, an attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude in the way that really glorif glorifies God and brings about true healing and brings about the uh, climate and the environment that empowers the Holy Spirit in, in our lives is the type of attitude this man had. You know, it's an attitude of humility, of thanksgiving, of gratitude. Um, he did not um, focus on anything other than turning back and with a loud voice glorifying God. And so I think that um, we just want to focus in on being anchored in thanksgiving taking the time out to turn back and give thanks to God, not just keep it moving. You know, once God answers prayer, oh, thank you, God, and keep it moving. But just really being grateful, being thankful, taking the same detail, the same detail, the same um, attitude that we had in praying and petitioning God for something that once, once that happens and even before it happens, just taking this time out to have that same detailed attitude toward thanking God, toward acknowledging God, and even making note of that the prayer was answered, you know, keeping record of the things that God has done for you. Because these are the things that will not only inspire, empower your faith, but really inspire you and strengthen you um, during tough times, when you look back and you think through, wow, look at how God answered this prayer, you know, and just having this type of heart. And so we're going to be um, talking about just being thankful, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what news, no matter how things look, just having the, the same attitude of this man in verse 16, who turned back and gave thanks to Jesus gave thanks to God, and just really glorified God with a loud voice. So beloved, those are the insights I have um, on this about Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, that's it from me. Take care.